Hello everyone. Welcome to this next installment in this video series regarding building websites with uh, HTML coding. So let's go ahead and begin. So in our last video we went over some uh, HTML code and how to use tags to create that code so that our browser can see um, the proper content on our website. What I want to do is I want to take a back step and go back over um, that code again in a more simple form. So what I did was I went ahead and I created just a basic uh, really scaled down version of an HTML website before you start putting in all those complicated codes. So once again as I was saying you start with the doc type code and that's going to be this code and that just denotes and tells the web browser what version of HTML you're using, which in this case is for HTML version 5. Then we're going to move on and we're going to start with the HTML open tag. That's this right here, highlighted. And then we just go ahead and close that off with the HTML close tag. All right, and then you're going to do, you're going to uh, type in a head tag an open head tag and then a close head tag and then in between that you're gonna put in a title open tag and a title close tag and then we move further down we have a body tag an open body tag and then a close body tag and so that's it you just have open and close tags so once again starting from the top anything that you put in between the head tag when the, uh, when, the, when the HTML document is loaded onto the browser usually through somebody requesting it um, anything you put in there is going to load up first so in between the head tags here we usually use that for putting in uh, any script or any type of a, a cascading style sheet that we want to load up as soon as the page loads up and we'll go over how to do that later uh, right now the next thing that we're going to go ahead and add is between the title tags and this will just be the title of the website itself okay and in this one we're just going to go ahead and use the example example two tag okay and then we're gonna go ahead and save that and as I said in previous videos if we're saving this for the first time it's gonna prompt us to save it in a file or a folder okay um, and then you can do that either through left clicking on file and then choosing save as or you could just on your keyboard use the keyboard sh shortcut control and s so I'm just going to do that on my keyboard. I'm pressing Control S, and it's going to prompt us where do we want to save this file. I'm going to go ahead and choose my desktop to save it on, since this is just a real quick, short example. And then I'm just going to give it a name, and that name is just going to be Example 2. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. So then I just come down, and I choose the Save button and then there you have it this this uh, this technique is going to be similar whether you're on a Windows machine or whether you're on a Apple Mac machine or even a Linux or Unix machine the process for uh, creating files is going to be similar no matter which type of environment you use okay and then let's just go ahead and minimize this and as you can see on my desktop there is my file, my HTML file. Okay. Oh, I also forgot to say you also gonna want to save this with with the HTML um, extension or the .html extension. Okay. And then to open it up in whichever browser you prefer, you just right click on it, and then you're gonna choose either. In our case, we're gonna choose Firefox, but as we said in the previous video, you want to have more than one browser available so that you can see what it looks like in multiple browsers. As you can see here, 
with my open width menu I have Chromium, Chrome and that's it so I have three browsers but for now we're gonna go ahead and open it up in Firefox so I just left click on the Firefox and there we have it as you can see there is the name right there for example 2 and as well as you can see it at the top of the browser window right there I just wanted to go ahead and quickly show you that I wanted to show you what it looks like we'll come back to this page later I wanted to show you what that looks like so that you can see what a basic HTML document looks like before you put all your coding in okay and then of course between the body tags is where you're gonna put all of your content alright this is where your links can go your navigation bar for your links where your content including your pictures and your text and all sorts of content that you want to they go through they go between this body right here okay and we'll go over that in just a few moments we'll go over it right now so let's go ahead and just close out this example we don't need it anymore and here's the tag or here's the document that we were working on from the last video okay and as you can see here we already went over the body tag well we already went over um, uh, this starting from the doc type the HTML the head the title and we went down to the bottom and I think we even included the first of uh, the div tags okay so let's go to the next tag and this is just gonna be simple because it's basically the same thing as it is right here we created the div tag and as we said in the last video a div tag is just a way of containing all of your uh, your uh, content in one small box you can think of a div tag as a box okay to put all of your content in or portions of your content and we also went over what uh, an HTML comment is and as a matter of fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one adjustment for better readability we're gonna highlight this whole comment right here we're gonna right click and we're going to choose cut because we don't want it there and we're going to bring this other part up then we're going to go here bring it down and then we're going to paste our uh, comment right there okay and then we're going to go ahead and save this change to this file as you can see down at the bottom it says saving the changes right there all right and as we went over before an HTML comment is just a comment for the coder who's ever coding it or who's ever gonna modify this content it just tells them what they wanna you know what they're what this is all about it's like a sticky note this comment says that this right here is for content and that's what you have here and then as we've went over before you got your open P tags your open font color tags and then your close font color tags and your close P tags or your close uh, paragraph tags alright and this is basically it this makes the font color red for this for this uh, content or for this uh, text right here and then you just close this font color and of course this is a head tag H2 okay and you've got six of them okay but for h2 each each uh, numbered head tag needs to open with the same number and it needs to close with the same number so you can't mix them you can't have h2 open tag and an h3 open tag or a close tag if you start out with h2 you need to finish with an h2 all right and then as we look further down you have another div ID tag and the div ID tag can be the same it can be whatever name you want that div to be okay like I said this is just a box that contains your information alright and that will become relevant when we move on and start talking about uh, cascading style sheets these div tags will come in very handy we'll see about that later alright 
So this is an H3 head tag. It starts with H3 and then it ends with an H3. All right. And then we have another tag within H3 tag. This is for your font colors. You can make your, make your font color whatever color you want it. Okay, it starts out with the tag font color, then it has an equal sign, and then it has double quotes, and in between that you put your tag your tag color, which is red. And after we and as we said in previous videos, anything after the equal sign is your attribute. Alright, and then after that we put in whatever content we want, and then we close the font, and then we close the H3 tag. And this right here, this tag is for creating a image. You save your image to the same folder that you have your HTML document. And then you just start with a less than uh, bracket or sign. And then you type in image space SRC, which stands for image source equals. And then in between the, uh, the two double quotes, you put in the name of your image, which in this case is tux.jpg, which is a JPEG picture. And then to control the size of this image, you want to choose width and height. And then, you know, you just put in whatever you like. The uh, attribute for width is going to be 300, okay, in between the double quotes. And then the attribute for height is going to be 250 in between double quotes. And then you need to have the um, uh, you need to have the tag that says alt. This need per uh, new regulations, this alt needs to be here. It needs to be here to describe what type of image you have. And then we just have the attribute. You can name it whatever you want to. This is naming the image right here, which is tux. And you can name it whatever you want. You can either name it Tux, or you can name it Penguin, or you can name it Hello Kitty, whatever you want. Okay, and that's the image tag right there, and that's how you create that. And then you go ahead and close the div tag. This is the opening div tag, and this is the closing div tag. And then you can use your uh, new line tags. I'm not saying it right, but that's what I call it because all it means is is that you're you're separating these tags from this tag right here. Okay, so you you can give as many lines as you want. For me, I want two lines right here, and that's going to separate between these tags and, like I just said, this tag. So this finishes out your content right here. Okay. And like we said earlier, you can separate your content. All right, that's what the div tags do. This is a box with your con with your content right here, and then this is another uh, box with some more content. And like I said, our div tags these will become more relevant when we move on to cascading style sheets. But I figured you'd like that, and I figured you should know about it. And then the last thing we're going to go over is the footer uh, div. This is the start of your footer and this is the end. And then as you see we've got more comments right here and we have an H3 head opening and close and then of course we got the font color. This one is orange and then we're gonna close it. Alright and the same thing for this text right here. All right, and then that's the end of our HTML document. We've already saved it. We can save it again. And the name of the document is example.html. And if we go ahead and minimize it, and we go ahead and open up that uh, where that document is, which is under the web toot directory, we'll see example right there. That's the document right there. The HTML, as you can see, the name of the document is example.html. And there, excuse me, there is the um, there is the picture 
or the image that we had earlier. And this is why I say everything needs to stay in the, stay in the same uh, directory. It's easier to reference that way. So you have your tux, doc, your tux image right here. And then you have another image, which for me, I, I, I created this myself, and I just call it the big green screen dot uh, png. That's another type of uh, image file. So all that said and done, everything in here all together, then we just want to go ahead and look at it in the browser and see what it looks like. Also, I already have it in a browser here. This is my Firefox browser. And then, as you can see, this is that document that we just had, right? You can see right here we have our nav bar, okay? And then we have our links under our nav bar right here. We have a home link, about us link, and a contact us link. And then you can see we have our content right here. This is our content. And as, as we scroll down, here is our image right here. And then if we look down at the bottom, here is our footer right there. All right. And then, of course, the green screen, which is my background here, it has a bunch of ones and zeros with a backdrop, a black backdrop or background. And that's it. And this is basically how you start and uh, create an HTML document. It's just as simple as that. And as I said, all applicable um, uh, links to the subject that we went over, whether it's HTML or the code itself, I will provide links to both of that in the description. So thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at this video. You have a good day. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.